Hi, this is Hansen from Manonport. It's nice to be back. So, as you might know, we are currently getting ready for the upcoming live deployment of the Melon protocol on the Ethereum mainnet, expected in Q1 2019. And before the live deployment, we have a token migration scheduled, and I'm here today to walk you through it. The token migration officially begins on Friday, the 1st of February 2019, at 3 p.m. CT. That's the official start date. You can migrate the Melon tokens in your wallet at any point of your convenience after that. There's no time limit. Before we start, first things first, we of course also have written instructions published. Um, you can find them on our website or Twitter, LinkedIn and Reddit. Um, please make sure to only trust information that is communicated from our official platform. You've been crypto for long enough, you know there's lots of scammers out there, so be careful. Secondly, if you have your Melon tokens on a centralized exchange before the 1st of February already, there's actually nothing for you to do. We've reached out to all exchanges, they will take care of the migration on behalf of you. Um, the centralized exchanges that currently this Melon are Kraken, Bittrex, Bitfinex and HitBTC. But at this point is important. You cannot send your old Melon tokens to a centralized exchange anymore after the 1st of February 2019. If you do that, your Melon tokens will be lost. Yeah? So I repeat, don't send your old Melon tokens to a centralized exchange after the 1st of February. So let's get started. This video is for all of you who have your Melon tokens in your own wallet. We will be using MyCrypto to migrate from the old Melon token to the new Melon token. So let's go there. I'm not sure how you store your Melon tokens, but if you have a private key, a JSON file or a mnemonic phrase, um, you'll have to go through the desktop app of my crypto. Otherwise, you can also use the web application. It's the same procedure either way. I will be using MetaMask today, so I'll be going through the web. There's actually two parts to the Melon token migration. So the first part guides you through approving your Melon tokens with a migration contract. This will allow the migration contract to transfer your Melon tokens on behalf of you. And the second part uh, guides you through sending the transaction that will swap your old Melon tokens for the new Melon token. First, you have to go to Tools and then choose Interact with Contracts. Next, you have to uh, fill the contract information of the old Melon token in this area. Right? Leave here custom and then here you put in the old contract address which you'll find in the blog that we published. You'll find it right here under step 2, contract address. Now copy it and then paste it into this area. Then you have to go back to the blog and click on the link here of the ABI and copy the entire text here and again paste it into the ABI JSON interface. Once you've done that, you can press Access. Now, here under the Read Write Contract section, you have to choose Approve. Cool. And now you have to fill in the spender address, which again, you'll find in our blog. You'll find it under Step 3, Spender Address. Now, here in this section, the, oh, I don't know how to pronounce it, value uint 256 area, you have to put in the quantity of melon tokens which you want to transfer. And I strongly suggest you just to transfer all of your melon tokens at once. I mean, otherwise, you have to go through a second migration. Um, I'll be migrating just one token today because it's just for demonstration purposes. And you also have to be sure to use the right format. And the format we'll be using here is the number of tokens that you want to migrate plus 18 zeros. So if you have 100 melon tokens, you put in 100 plus 18 zeros. If you have 100.5 melon tokens, you put in 100, 5, and 17 zeros, and so on. So I just want to migrate one melon token, so I put in 1 and 18 zeros. Great. So once it's done, you can go ahead and choose um, your preferred method of login. I said I'll be using MetaMask. 
and it automatically, automatically detects it. Now be sure that you actually put the amount of melon tokens you want to exchange in this area, the value you in 256, and not in the value area. Yeah, this field has to be left blank. Otherwise, uh, you'll be losing some F. Now that you're ready, just press right, generate the transaction, and send the transaction. And send. And then also submit here on MetaMask. Neat. That's it. You just completed the first part of the token migration. Wasn't it hard, was it? Now you can check if it worked on Etherscan. Just click here. And if it was successful, you will see it here. I'm going to wait. Ah, it already worked. Perfect. So now let's go back. And now we can start the second part, which is calling the transmute function uh, on the migration contract. So for that, let's reload my crypto. Again, you have to go to Tools and then Interact with Contracts. And now it looks very similar to the last, uh, to the last part, but slightly different. Um, instead of putting the old Melon token contract here, you actually have to put the information of the migration contract, which we call the Alchemist migration contract. And you will find it in the blog post that we published. If you go further down, you do it under section part, part two, step two. This is the Alchemist migration contract ending with A68, copy and paste it. Now again, you have to go back to the blog, press on the link here, the ABI, copy the entire field here and paste it right back in here. Nice. Now that you've done that, you can press access. Here in the read write contract section, Last time we chose Approve, this time we have to choose Transmute. Great. And in the Mass UINT256 section, again, you have to put in the amount of mana tokens you want to migrate. And as I said before, uh, you should migrate all your mana tokens at once. And this number should be exactly the same as you put in, in the previous part under the Value UINT256 uh, section. Uh, same format, right? The number of tokens you want to swap. With 18 zeros at the end. So I want to swap one token, I put one and 18 zeros. Great. Um, now you have to again to choose uh, the preferred login method. I'm going to use MetaMask. It detects automatically and again leave this field, value field, blank. Yeah, that's important. And here is also important, you have to untick the automatically calculate gas limit uh, box and change or adjust um, the gas limit to 100,000. That is important, not the gas price, the gas limit. Once you've done that, you can press write and general transaction and send transaction again. We're going to send it now. Now proof here on MetaMask. Perfect. We're going to press Submit. And it worked. Again, to check if your transaction went through, you can click here to verify on Etherscan. And that was actually it. You just completed the entire Melon token migration and I just managed to switch one old Melon token to one new uh, Melon token. It's a success here, it worked, which is great. And to actually uh, see if it worked, you can actually go back to the blog and press on the link below here in, in section in step 6 on this Etherscan uh, link. And there, um, under the balance off section, uh, I think it's number five.
you can just plug in your own uh, wallet address. And check how many new Melon tokens you have. And you can see here, uh, I have two already in the previous video. Uh, my wallet with the Melon token is the second time now, but here it should say your new balance with 18 zeros at the end. That was it. Uh, thank you for your time. As always, if you need our help, we are here for you. You can join our public telegram or email us at team at melonpod.com or even email just me at hansen at melonpod.com. Great. I look forward to seeing you soon and goodbye.